Everyone on your right side, right side, everyone. And then everyone straight ahead. Right? Olivia. Olivia, Guys, one time straight ahead, please. Everybody looking right at me, please. Straight ahead. There we go. One, two. Side. Olivia, 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 Miss Rodrigo, Olivia, please. Peter, have a wave here. And Tom, Rachel, those smiles, guys. Tom, together. Rachel, this way, this Big way. Smiles together, guys. Tom, come down, come down. Rachel, turn this way. Rachel, that smile on the left side, please, Rachel. Rachel, right here. Rachel, look up, take and row, Rachel. Rachel, over the shoulders. See there, Rachel. Rachel, just turn your body to the left. And Rachel, one thing. Rachel, come on the left side. Tom, right here. They got it already. They got it, Tom. And Tom, right here. Guys, can you put down that? No, no, guys. Guys, on your right side of Hunter. Hunter. Everybody, straight. Right. She come back on the spot. Josh, Josh, right there. Josh, Josh, right there on the mark. Josh, look down, look down. Head down, head down, head down. Josh, Josh straight in front. And Josh, one look in this third. Hunter, the. Hunter, just the front, the front, the front of the outfit, please. Over your shoulder, Viola. All the way left, look, big smile. Look at me. Jason on the left side, Jason. And Jason, Jason, look up. Jason, look, up. Jason, look at me. Jason, Nina, no, look at Jason right here. Jason, can I get it? Yeah. Nina on the left Nina. side, please. Nina, keep to your left, to your Nina. left. Nina. Nina, right here, Nina. Right Nina, straight. Nina, Nina, straight ahead. And Nina, Nina right to your left, please. Miss Malone, Miss Malone, right here, please. Jenna. Jenna. Jenna, Jenna right here, Jenna. Jenna, right here, please. Miss Malone, right here, turn this way. Jenna, there. And so is straight ahead, look. Straight ahead, straight ahead. And back to your left side. Straight ahead, straight ahead. Ball. Right here, right here. And one more over here, please. Right here. Head down, head down. Perfect, stay with me. And last one this way. Eyes this way for one, second. last one. Keep coming, keep coming. And Tiffany, and Tiffany right ahead, right darling. Right 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 Tiffany on your left side. Adriana! Adriana, look up! Miss Lima, Miss Lima, look up! One more time! And Francis, one more time, sir. Second row, sir. Straight ahead, straight ahead. Francis, sir, look at that. Francis, one more time, straight ahead. Francis, all the way right, sir. Daniel, one more time, sir. That's Thank you. Daniel, you're right. Daniel, take us back, please. And stop with us. Thank you. Jeffrey, you alright? I'm fine. Thank you. Right And right here, please. Nice smile. And we are face up. Head down, head down. Suzanne, face up. Suzanne. Suzanne, right here. Suzanne. Right in the middle. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. And above her. Not that many. Ten. Yeah, maybe the baby became too hard. Yeah, right there, right there. See the first one. See the first one. Luna, right here. 
Oh yeah. Do that again, Luna, with your hands. Do that again. Luna! Ashley, look this way. One more time, Ashley. Right here in the middle, Ashley. Ashley, turn your body this way, boy. And Ashley on the left side. Ashley, right here. Ashley. Ashley. Amir, right here, sir. Amir. Amir, straight ahead. Straight ahead, Amir. And Amir, one more time, right here, sir. Amir, turn this, your body this way. Turn your body. Nice right here. Monica, right there. Stay with me one more. And last one with that smile. Thank you. Spawn. They're not. I just can't see you in the back. Can you come around? I don't know. I'm not gonna send the, I'm not gonna send direct, I'm gonna send to the desk so it's second set of eyes can look over and um, thank you. Right away. And just ice you, please. Thank you, last one. Grab me, my chicken. I can't. I'm not going to be confident. Everything is going very One more time. And close again, guys. Oh, yeah. Right here, guys. Right here, guys. Right here, guys. Right here, guys. And together, guys. Right here. And right look at me. Look at me, Gigi. Gigi, big smile. Gigi. Guys, look at that. One time looking back. And on the left side, Kara, left side. One Kara, more. right here, down here. Down here in the front. And to the right. Kara, right here, down in the front. Down in the front. Down the front. And Kara, right here, please. Thank you, Sophie. Right here, Joe. Right here, please. Right this way, please. Right here, please, straight ahead. Perfect, hold that. Stay with me. And last one. Do you have a name for this young man? And stay right there, last one. The next one. guy, the next guy. The yeah. next guy. Thank you. Can you get out there? Can you face us? Thank you. Oh, God. And last one this way. Can we get that smile back? And just one more time right here. Shoulder. Sorry, one sec. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. One second, nice smile. Beautiful, looking good. Thank you. It's such an incredible story and, and we really are so thankful to Suzanne for adding on to something that's so iconic and I think a lot of the filmmakers thought that the story was over with Katniss and the gang and getting to delve into these characters in an even deeper meaningful way. It's such an honor as an actor to get to do that and also just as a storyteller in general it's, it's really beautiful. I mean Lucy Gray is a very mercurial young lady and she goes on a journey of self-discovery but also self-preservation. Um, it's a story of survival for her uh, first and foremost and uh, she gets to have a really beautiful romance along the way but also a, a lot of uh, a contentious relationship as well. Well, I mean, chemistry can't be faked, it can't be uh, contrived, and it can't be made in a lab, hilariously enough. Um, but Tom and I kind of met and instantly clicked. We instantly became friends, and I just adore him so much. He's such a meaningful actor with intention and, and a sense of intelligence that is very hard to find, but also a care for his scene partners, myself included, and, and getting to be cared for by him is an honor, and getting to fall in love with him on screen is an honor. Jason is an insane professional who is so off-the-cuff hilarious with careful planning and intention but also ad-libbing in the moment. I am in awe of him. I am a huge fan of his and after working with him I'm just an even bigger fan. Oh my gosh, Francis is my favorite collaborator I've ever worked with because working with him doesn't feel like someone's in charge. It feels like it's a real 
collaboration and I just adore him. I want to make every movie with him. It is The Hunger Games you know and love but it delves into the reason why and Suzanne Collins is exceptional at holding up a mirror to society and asking the real tough questions that don't necessarily leave us with an answer but definitely leave us wanting more. Yeah it feels like a long time in the making. I mean obviously we finished filming about a year ago this month um, in Berlin and I, when you finish any project, you almost can't believe that it's ever going to be out there. But this especially, it was such a labor of love for everyone involved. We were all fans before, then we got inducted into the franchise ourselves um, and shepherded through by like great filmmakers like Francis and Nina. Um, so now to be able to actually share it, I, I kind of can't believe it's actually going to be out there. Uh, but I'm glad it will be because I think the fans have waited a long time. Yeah, I mean, Corio in this is a very different snow to the snow that we saw in the original franchise. Um, he... He's a young guy who has a lot of ambition, and the ambition uh, is kind of leading him astray. Yeah, I mean, I'm a huge fan of Donald's performance in those original films. He's just like one of the great movie, uh, movie villains of movie history. Uh, so I, I kind of had to try and forget where he ends up in order to start him off in a completely different place. But at the beginning, he's just a kid. He's just a guy who wants to like do well and be the best in his class and, and maybe find love. Um, so being able to track that progression throughout was really fun. I mean, we're really lucky that we've just naturally become very close. Um, I think really, more than anything, uh, apart from just like natural chemistry and her being an amazing singer and me falling in love with her singing uh, every time she sang, um, I think the real thing is just like we leaned on each other throughout a six month shoot, which was like psychologically and physically difficult. It was a lot of fun, but just a, you know, it was a big shoot um, all over Europe. And I think we just kind of leaned on each other for support and became really close through that. Okay, I'm so excited to be here tonight because everyone's going to love this movie. Her name is Rovi and she's from District 8 and she's very and strong like me and I'm excited to be like her. Time for entertainment to re-emerge and share with everybody and it's so much fun because this is like the strike just ended last week. And here we are. Nice to be invited to the party. And they've always had such a, a strong list of great actors involved in these movies that I saw from the past that uh, it's an honor. Well, he's got one of my favorite names of any character I've ever played, Casca Highbottom. Um, uh, he, well, he basically, he's the creator of The Hunger Games and he now is living with the guilt of uh, sort of uncorking the, the terrible genie that he can't get back into the bottle. Francis, I adore, there's Tom now. I have always been a fan of his films. I Am Legend and Constantine and the, the Hunger Games movies he's done. And he has such skill and patience with actors and you're in such good hands. He knows exactly what he wants every day. What he's, he can, he's pre-visualized the entire thing. So you have nothing but faith and trust in him. So. Well, the good news is it's a prequel, so you don't have to see the other films to watch this film. Uh, you can even start with this film and then go to the other ones. Uh, so there's nothing to really play catch up on. So if you're young and new to it, start with this one and you'll be in good hands. I come from the theater. You know, theater is live. You get an immediate response with whatever play you do. With the movie, I shot it, what, years or so ago. So it's nice to finally the audience finally receiving the film and receiving the work that we did in Germany that I thought was so special and I, I want to know how they react to it yeah absolutely uh, the journey she goes on is I call it a demented mentor <laughs> a, a sort of reluctant mentor I had fun relishing in the evil I had fun relishing in sort of molding and shaping snow Tom Blythe into this person who I felt and deemed him to be and um, that's all I could say I mean I felt like you know with acting you get permission to go to parts of your imagination that you can't go to in life what helps when you get a group of artists who work together makeup hair actor together what you create when you walk out of the tra uh, trailer is hopefully a character that you already have stepped into. And that becomes the magic. That becomes what, 50% of the work. He's so <laughs> calm that you're like, okay, Francis, something has got to upset you. He has a very calm, relaxed style. And what that means to me is he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing, he knows what he wants. And that's always really good because it gives you a safe space. You know, sometimes it 
becomes an actor's dream to just be a part of a franchise in any way and to be able to play with a villain role, you know. Sometimes I get tired of being the nice person all the time because I'm, I'm that person in life too. I'm like the nice person in life. It is always a joy to see great work. I believe in the artists. I do. I believe that it is an honorable profession. I think when people are exposed to the arts, I think it makes them feel alive and less alone. It sparks their imagination, and we need more of that in the world. The, the fan base around the original franchise, which is so cool, um, everybody's been so welcoming and everybody's so passionate about it, which is great. And I think the retelling of kind of the origin story, how Snow became who he is, you know, kind of getting under the skin of that character arc, and there's a lot of meaty nuance in there, you know. I think people are really going to like it. You know, obviously there's only so much I can talk about without getting into spoiler territory, but um, you know, he's got a lot of heart, he's got a lot of conviction, he's very passionate about humanity's capacity to do good and be good, and that's something I really admire about him. It was a lot of fun to play him, just because of all the friction he has with a lot of the other characters. Um, it's really great as far as it feels to be here. I mean, this is incredible. I, I can't lie, I, get, I still get butterflies in my stomach when I pull up to these carpets. It's really amazing. I mean, it's great because I think there's this sort of existing aesthetic that we have, which is uh, really glamorous and, and showy and uh, kind of larger than life. What's nice about this story is it kind of takes you to a more unpolished, gritty version of what we already know and how it becomes this whole media spectacular and how it becomes what it is. It's, it's, it's kind of cool to just rewind uh, a couple decades before that and be a part of that world. Me and Tom, I think, were some of the first people that got there. So, you know, we spent a lot of time like going out, getting to know each other. So by the time we actually started filming, you know, that we already buddies. The chemistry was kind of there. They're, they're so spectacular. I have only good things to say about everybody who worked on it. Francis is an incredible collaborator. He put a lot of trust in the actors, which gave us a lot of freedom to kind of bring ourselves to the role. Uh, as far as the producing team goes, you know, we have uh, Brad and Nina, who are, work on Color Force Productions, they actually were able to get me my next project after this one, which is great. So I'll be working with them again, which is very exciting. So I, I think it's just such a strong movie. It has a lot of emotional arc to it. Um, it's, it's just very good. I have been dreaming of this moment since I was in middle school. Um, no, I would go around like PE in middle school doing my three finger salutes wearing combat boots and a side ponytail. And I just cannot believe that this moment is real. Like I'm pinching myself. I just, I'm so thankful and so excited for you guys to see this movie. <laughs> Clemencia is one of the most fun characters I think I've ever gotten to play. She just has such an air about her. I'm kind of channeling her with that ponytail tonight, but she kind of reminds me of my cat in a strange way. My cat Cleo, they have the same kind of air of like presence about them and confidence. And I just think that that's what Clemencia is all about. You know, I've never been on a set where someone walked into a room and could command the presence of 300 people. She came to set in character. I, I just, I don't have enough good things to say about her performance and her as a person. And I just can't believe that she wanted to, you know, chat with me in between takes and stuff and that she knows my name. Like, you got one of my old this. And Peter Dinklage is one of the funniest people I've ever met. So Jason's incredible in this and I'm so thrilled to have everyone on this wonderful project. This is the first thing that I know of that's really really got a big thing happening after the strike and so I'm really excited to see the turnout for it and the excitement and also I just feel like you know if you love the world of Hunger Games why not come watch more Hunger Games and be involved again. It's a little surreal to uh, to, to be able to join something that you um, that you know and means a lot to you um, and this capacity this prequel capacity is like insane. Well I play um, the first hosts of the Hunger Games this is the 10th Hunger Games, but they've never had a host before, trying something new. And so this is sort of like the beginning of, um, the beginning of a different kind of Hunger Games. When I saw the Hunger Games, the first one, I saw a Stanley Tucci in it and I flipped out. And I remember thinking, like, that is the best character and I, I wish I could be in a movie like this and do a character like that. And then, lo and behold, I, this happened. It's a great story, especially this one, to me, is a really interesting story of kind of showing the beginnings of of how something could get so out of control. Um, seeing where the roots kind of start, I think is really fascinating. Especially seeing characters that you didn't think were possible of loving, love, stuff like that I think is, is pretty, it's pretty interesting to watch. 
I grew up a fan of this series, and so it, it's really kind of, it, I, I'm still kind of comprehending that I get to be a part of that world now, um, and I couldn't be happier playing Tigris, so um, it means the world. Tigris is Coriolanus Snow's cousin, uh, and they've been living together ever since they were really young and kind of supporting each other um, as like siblings, but also kind of like parents for each other, um, and also cousins. I mean, like Tom and I had to jump into like an emotionally heavy scene on like my first filming day, and it just like clicked, and, and we, we've never struggled with that. So it, I don't know, I just feel really lucky that he was my main scene partner, you know? It felt like a really big privilege that they had already done a really successful um, you know, first round of these movies, and that they knew how to do it, and and, and there there was a formula that they've that they've kind of like perfected at this point. So I just felt really safe, and it kind of allowed me in acting mode to feel to feel like free. I mean, I think the fact that they were able to execute these movies with and, and make fans happy is a remarkable accomplishment. And um, I don't know. Yeah, I think they've done it again. Look, I'm super excited. You know, when we when we finished Mockingjays in 2015, we thought that was it. And then Suzanne surprised us with another book. Um, and it's, you know, what feels sort of almost like a, a standalone movie. And what's great is the, the fans, I think, are going to really love it because it's the origin of um, not only a character that they know, uh, but also it's kind of an origin uh, story of the entire series. Yeah, I mean, one thing we wanted to do is we wanted to sort of approach the casting like the original series, which is to sort of get kind of fresh faces like up front and then surround them with veteran legacy talent. Uh, you know, finding Tom, honestly, we knew we were going to get somebody that was relatively unknown and we saw tons and tons and tons of people and then Tom's audition kind of came out out of the blue, honestly, for me and just kind of blew everybody out of the water. He's so talented and so smart and sophisticated and, you know, he's Juilliard trained and so good at his craft. And, and then you have Rachel, who's unbelievable. I saw her in West Side Story. She's an amazing actress and there's a lot of music in this movie and we needed an amazing singer. And so there's just literally nobody more perfect than her. Oh, she's amazing. I mean, my God. So, you know, she's probably one of the best actors of all time, let alone our generation. And so, it was unbelievable and I think that once we had these initial conversations it was just like you know you just sort of let Viola do her thing. It all comes from Suzanne Collins and I think you know it gets lumped into that young adult world but the truth is that Suzanne always writes from a thematic idea at first and I think because of that she then builds stories around these ideas it has like heft and it has weight and it has relevance which makes it break out of just like the teen mold. I'm such a fan of this franchise and such a fan of um, this franchise's iconic soundtracks and so it's such an honor to uh, get to write a song for this incredible movie and I'm really excited for everyone to see it and you know hear the song in the movie so it's, it's very surreal. Yeah it was a really interesting challenge for me as a songwriter you know most of my songs that are on my albums are very um, diaristic and sort of about my own life and so it's really fun to get to watch this movie and um, challenge myself as a songwriter to write a song from the perspective of Lucy Gray. To be here is incredible, to, to be a part of it is incredible, but I'm, I'm also just so excited to be here as a fan and, you know, get to watch this incredible movie again. So it's going to be a fun night. It's incredible. I mean, it's, it seems so far away for so long, and then when it's suddenly actually here and it, we can finally share it, and to be here with all these fans who, some of whom have been here, you know, for all the movies, it's amazing. Well, having the chance to be reunited with Fra with Francis after, you know, we've stayed obviously friends, but it's been amazing to get to work so closely again with him and Suzanne. It's just an incredible collaboration. And, you know, you miss each other. You miss the world of the movie and the world of the, her stories, her characters, but you also miss each other. Well, I think, you know, Tom brought this incredible nuance, these layers of complexity to play both a hero and a villain. You've, we auditioned a lot of great actors who could do, they could be a hero, they could be a villain, but only Tom really brought the ability to kind of be continually torn between being both. She's like one of my idols. I was so, you know, she was who Francis and I wanted from the beginning, and that was who we were hoping for. And when she, you know, and when she said yes, and she was so into what I like, sick, dark puppy, and how much fun of, a, you know, of a villain, um, Dr. Gall is, she was just all in, and that was thrilling. It was thrilling to see her version of the character. It was everything I could have imagined. Well, we wanted to make a movie that you could know nothing about the world. You could have never read a book. You could have, of, you know, any of the books, seen any of the movies, and still have a, a really full and 
satisfying meal at the theater. Um, but we also wanted all of the fans to to learn as much about the world as I learned as I read the book. You know, there were so so many things I didn't know.